Hi, today we're going to talk about sunscreens and sun protection. We're going to talk about what the risks in the sun are, how the sun damages your skin, what are some of the products and ingredients that are in sunscreens, what are the best products to use in a sunscreen, and then how that applies to the NAO sunblock products. So sunlight damages your skin in several different ways, and the two most deleterious effects from sunlight are skin cancer and photoaging. And as far as skin cancer is concerned, you can develop skin cancer no matter what your skin tone is. It doesn't matter how much melanin and pigment is in your skin. The darkest skin black Americans have an SPF of about 13 naturally from the melanin in their skin. That's the highest level of SPF that natural melanin can give you. And anybody with lighter skin has natural SPF lower than 13. And you really need an SPF of 30 or above to get good protection from skin cancer. So some studies estimate that 80% of the aging we see in our skin is due to ultraviolet radiation. So we wanna protect our skin from the ultraviolet radiation to slow down the effects of photoaging on our skin. So these are the two main reasons why we wanna wear sunscreen, protect from skin cancer and slow down photoaging. So a lot of patients ask me, what's the best thing I can do to try to look younger and protect my skin? And the foundational thing that we need is sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. And this is the rationale for why we need to wear sunscreen all the time, whether your skin is light or dark, or whether or not it's winter or summer. We wanna protect from skin cancer, and we wanna protect from photoaging. Now, you can see in this image that the youthful skin pyramid has the foundational thing as sunscreen. And we'll talk about some of these other products and other lectures as you build the pyramid up. But the base layer is sunscreen because that's going to do the most good to keep your skin youthful and to protect you from skin cancer. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the science behind sunlight, sunscreen, and sun protection. So what exactly are we protecting from? Ultraviolet radiation, it comes in two forms that we are really concerned about ultraviolet A or UVA and ultraviolet B or UVB. Now UVB only accounts for about 3.5% of the ultraviolet radiation that reaches the earth. But UVB is the type of radiation that causes burns, B for burns, ultraviolet B. And so we want to protect our skin from the ultraviolet B radiation. It has the highest energy, the shortest wavelengths, and it is blocked by glass. Now UVA comprises about 96.5% of the ultraviolet radiation that reaches the earth. And ultraviolet A can go through glass. It's a little bit lower energy than UVB. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that UVA does specifically as well. So now we know how the sun damages the skin. We're gonna talk about what's in sunscreens to protect you. Now there are chemical agents that can be in sunscreens and these chemical agents actually absorb the energy of the ultraviolet radiation. So there are things like PADA, which is an old sunscreen chemical that's not used very much anymore. And there's something called abobenzone. And that's a very, that's a pretty good UVA protector. And one of the most common uh, chemicals that's used in sunscreen is octanoxate. Now octanoxate is the chemical that's used in a lot of sunscreens. And when you go to the beach and you smell that sunscreen smell, that's what you're smelling is octanoxate. And octanoxate does have a problem though, and that it is toxic to marine life and corals in particular. So a lot of places are banning octanoxate in sunscreens. And a lot of manufacturers are trying to get away from octanoxate as a chemical in sunscreens. Now, the other type of ingredient in sunscreen are physical agents that protect you from the sun. And there's basically three agents that are used, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and something called a capsule. Now, a capsule is relatively new. It's actually patented by L'Oreal, so it's only in L'Oreal products or any of the subsidiary companies of L'Oreal. And it's regulated by the FDA, just like all these other products are regulated. So the capsule does a very good job of blocking sun, sunlight, but 
It can only be used in certain quantities, so it's frequently mixed with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So this is an illustration that compares the effective blockage of the different sunscreen ingredients. And so along the bottom, you'll see the wavelengths or the UVB more towards the left and the UVA more towards the right. And the higher the blockage or the more blockage you get, the higher on the left uh, you want your line to be. So you can see from this that the purple line is the best protector for UVB. And in fact, that's octanoxate. And just below that, you'll notice we have titanium dioxide. And as you go from the UVB range in the 280 nanometers, going up to about 320, starting to get into UVA, the octanoxate drops off rapidly in its effectiveness of protection. The UVA protection, the best protecting chemical there, is actually zinc oxide. So kind of an ideal sunscreen is gonna have products that ride the top of the wave of this protection, if you will, in this illustration. Now, iron oxides are chemicals that are used in a lot of makeups because they add pigment. And from this illustration, it's a little bit different than the last one. The amount of protection from ultraviolet radiation gets better the lower the numbers on the left. And you can see iron oxide by itself doesn't really provide very good sun protection across any of the range of wavelengths of light. And in the middle of the illustration, you can see titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, how they provide good protection. But if you combine iron oxides with titanium dioxide and combine it with zinc oxide, see how low those lines are, see how much more protection you get by combining iron oxides or pigment with your zinc and titanium oxides. So this is why a tinted sunscreen provides the optimal and best sun protection of all the products available. So in summary, we need to wear sunscreen no matter what pigment type you have in your skin, whether you're very fair skinned or very dark skinned. You need to wear sunscreen year round. And the ideal sunscreen is going to be one that has UVA and UVB protection. And as we saw from our illustrations, this is going to be a pigmented sunscreen with iron oxides in it that has both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. So not only does our blend and protect contain titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and iron oxides, it's made from a silicone elastomer base which evaporates and doesn't leave any residue or stickiness or oiliness when it's applied. It also has micro-encapsulated antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid, as well as microencapsulated melanin. And this gives you a wonderful product and can also be used like a BB cream for you. If you have any questions, give us a call at the office at 703-924-3144. You'll be able to find a copy of this video as well as other archive videos over on our website and on our Facebook group at Educating Friends About Plastic Surgery. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like this and please share this.